They came in their thousands from all walks of life, from across the UK and beyond. Their message, no, to the aggressive expansion of Heathrow Airport. The Stop the Noise carnival began with a message of encouragement from the Archbishop of Canterbury, Rowan Williams. The common word for today's event is no. The coming together of so many people, united by their shared concerns. And then they were off, seasoned demonstrators walking alongside those who'd never marched on anything before. There are really two levels of campaigning going on here. On the one hand, you have the environmentalists protesting about the extra carbon emissions that would come from an expanded Heathrow airport. And on the other, of course, you have the local residents who say their lives would be further blighted by the extra noise and pollution that would come from the airport. Among them, 78-year-old Albert Furling. His wife and parents are buried in Cherry Road Cemetery, which is under threat if a third runway goes ahead. My wife's buried there. What am I going to do? Are there other people from your family there as yes, well? Yes, my, my parents. My father died in the Second World War during the air raid. There you go. So you're here today to say no to anything? Enough is enough. If the third runway goes ahead, it would be built to the north of the airport. That would mean the villages of Sipson and Harmonsworth would be bulldozed and 100 acres of Greenbelt land would be lost. At the moment, 480,000 planes take off and land at Heathrow each year. A new runway would increase that number to 702,000 by 2030. Those in favour say it's crucial for the UK's economy. If it goes ahead, it will help the local and national economy, the national economy particularly. Uh, one of the things that's happening, which people aren't aware of, is that you can't fly to many British regional cities now, which therefore are linked out of the global market. But environmentalists, like the head of Greenpeace, say the plans make a mockery of Gordon Brown's pledge to fight climate change. It's the Prime Minister that's going to decide. And so I think it's very important that people like the Archbishop of Canterbury have come out publicly against the third runway. Uh, this really will pile on the pressure on Brown. Today's march ended in the village of Sipson, where the finale was a giant no spelt out in human bodies. The idea that those flying over Heathrow would see it from the air. The government will make a decision on the third runway within a few months' time. The message from those on the ground is clear.